Hey, what's up, you super fly Geminis? We're bringing to you your October astrological forecast and a tarot reading to top it off. If you would like to book a reading, please go to astroweek.com. You could email me at wakeastrology at gmail.com and we'll go through your chart. Right now, the major aspects that are happening or Venus going retrograde, Venus squaring Mars, Pluto going forward. Now what areas in your chart is this going to affect? Oh, and we have the uh, full moon in Taurus, new moon in Libra. Let's talk about the new moon. The new moon in Libra, October 8th. This is going to bring a new beginning to a creative project. Perhaps a new relationship you develop with a child. Perhaps having a freaking child. Finding out you're pregnant. <laughs> Fun. Now, that's what this Libra time when the sun is in Libra going to Scorpio. We're going from your creative projects and now you come up with one, perhaps one that was hidden in the dark that you put on the back burner. Now you're bringing that back up and you bring it into your daily routine. Uh, it could be a new exercise, a new way that you entertain, a new way that you're entertained. And now that's gonna creep into your daily habitual life, into your sixth house, where we have Venus retrograde happening. So, with Venus retrograde, perhaps you could have a newfound love for your work for exercise, uh, for taking care of health matters, um, finding ways that you're neglecting your health and finding new creative ways to um, tend to those matters. Now, we have Pluto going forward into your 8th house and Saturn going forward into the 8th house. So the 8th house is um, sexual intimate relationships, um, your sexual compassions and passions and desires, deep desires, your, uh, your relationship with other people's money. Now in that area you had energies going back asking you to restructure, um, asking you to look deeper onto a psychological level about what's already in a psychological place. And so now you have those things going forward now. So now you can move forward with structure, with structuring, with management skills. And you do it with a lot of power. With lots of power comes great responsibility. Hmm. Tenth house, your career. We have Chiron that just retrograded and touched back into that. So, uh, some perhaps hurt to an old wound that's being opened up in the way that people see you. But it's only going to touch back in there for a second before it goes forward back in Aries again. It goes forward into your second, into your first house. I'm sorry, into your eleventh house of um, greater communities. Mm, so, it's giving you a little bit of a chance to brush up your public image and to attend to that so that when Chiron goes direct and moves into your 11th house, that you'll be able to receive the awards from your work. Ooh, and now we're moving to your tarot. And the first card that just jumped up, Gemini, two swords. This is a very Gemini in car, air. And here we have a decision that needs to be made. This is also very Librarian. We're in the time. So make sure that you cut away those things that need to be cut away mentally before we enter into Scorpio season, before they solidify. Unhealthy relationships, unhealthy attachments, um, addictions. Right now, as we enter into this new moon, drop them. The new moon's happening on the 15th degree of Libra, which is where is the Deccan, in the second Deccan, ruled by 
its exalted Saturn. Now is that time to exercise self-discipline without being too hard on yourself. That card, the wind picked up and blew it off the top of the deck. And the Fool, a new beginning, trusting in the plan. It reminds me of QAnon. Trust the plan. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. But a new beginning, that's beautiful. A new beginning with this. Don't stress out about being perfect and always making the right decision. Trust in your heart, follow that, and love will lead the way. Reminds me of a Taylor Dane song. Pick one last card. Please speak to all my precious Gemini's. This is the Tower card. This is also the Virgo card. The Virgo season for you is going to be a little bit easier than others because you're mutable. So now this is going to give you a chance to break those things down that are not serving you. If you don't do it, then the universe is going to do it and it's going to be more painful. Love you, Geminis.